hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we take you out there to a quick journey, eh, somewhat quick, a lot of plastic to do, uh, brand new 1000 miles Honda Ridgeline, one of these pickup trucks, beautiful truck. We are just going to go through the entire process, put the boosted and get it done. So outside we go and I show you. As usual, the wheel cleaner the looks. Spray on the tire on the wheel. Under the liner you can use it too. Engine bay. I have a bucket with shampoo here to go behind it. And then of course I have this gizmo here to go inside here. Better than new with the wheel cleaner the looks. Then we go behind with the T2 and we go. We're gonna polish them and then spray them. And the standard procedure with the clay drop. Glide back and forth. Right there. Okay, we got her inside and we're gonna check the surface, measure the surface. But first, look at this beauty. I got a remodeling garage video coming up. As you can see, we don't have the garage door opener rail or motor anymore here. So I have plenty high for these high vehicles. We have a side motor over there now. So I have a video coming about the whole remodeling, waiting for some lights and cabinets and whatnot. But right now, we're just going to go ahead and measure the paint here before we start going. Okay, so we start 4 .8, 4 .4, 5.2, 5.2. So I checked the whole, the whole surface. We're good to go. And we have plenty clear to work with. I also check with the light and uh, we have some few minor imperfections. So I think that the microfiber pad with the sweat remover will do it. And then we go with the boosted. So to the roof we go and we start. Boost is gonna look phenomenal. Here, a view of the tail lights, they need a lot of attention. Sword Remover Pro X and a little microfiber pad, real soft. And let's see what we can do. And there's the end result. A little bit of prep pull now, and we go. wheels, the sweat remover, soft pad, and what this is going to do is going to bring some of the shine out prior to putting the boosted. So I'm going to go ahead and spray them so I can't go inside here. So just from a little pass they look super nice now it's gonna look real nice outside with the gold wheels yeah very simple we go
Okay, and the side poles not done and done right there. So one trick that I can tell you is use a soft pad and then when you're going to wipe off the residue from your Sweat Remover Pro X, which I assume you're using so you don't have dust. So get the microfiber damp with the waterless multi and you won't scratch it back up. See, a lot of people struggle with that. There you have it. Beautiful. So yeah, we continue. Okay, the decals polish very soft and if you ever doing one of these things with the plastic trim make sure that you put tape so you don't scuff the black plastic surface and one trick that I can tell you is that you can have a piece of tape and what you do is prior to put into the surface the part of the glue you put it against your t-shirt um, not a microfiber, a t-shirt or something that won't leave any linked out and that's what we call burn the tape and what that's going to do is when you pull the tape out it will not leave any residue because that is a big problem then you start smearing that tape the glue from the tape all over the place and it's more work and it can create more scratches as soon as you're done with the tape you remove it, don't leave it there longer than you have to, right there. So I protected all the surfaces and I'm ready to put the coating. This is all done and it's looking beautiful, look at that. I had the portable lights there because we're still doing the renovation on the garage, but all of that is done and it's looking stellar. So I'm going to go with the prep all now and then after i'm going to go ahead and start putting the coating uh, we're moving along okay all the plastic done with the boosted look beautiful ceramic spray up there this looks real good all of the plastic done headlights spray that Look at the wheels, I had to put the T2. And as you saw, I spray inside here, all of that. So that's gonna be beautiful, very easy to clean. So, I gotta put the T2, and then I have to do the bed liner. And uh, we're on the final stretch. I gotta do the interior, uh, not, not, not quite done yet, but it's looking good. And here she is all done, all polished with the Sweat Remover Pro X and then behind with the Booster 2.0, all the painted surfaces, wheels, engine bay, the cover, everything and everything. And we put the Booster and all the plastic for the first time I used three bottles but there's a reason for it. Customer requested that I spray everything underneath so I did. All of that has been sprayed wheels and tire with the T2 and the wheel cleaner the looks then with the boosted glass polish it looks beautiful all the this decals polish the whole cover all boosted that took almost a bottle right there headlights tail lights polish it all the plastic interior engine bay everything and everything 1000 miles so it's another one for the books and that will do it on this one so I'll check us online turbowax.com Instagram everything and everything moving on to the next one until then